Hi boys and girls, hope you're all keeping well and that you're enjoying this fabulous weather that we're having at the minute. So we on the Learning Support team know that an awful lot of you have been reading the book James and the Giant Peach. We hope you're enjoying it, it's a really great book. Um, there's a poem in that book called The Centipede Song and we decided as a team that we would like to perform it for you. We hope you enjoy it, don't laugh at us too much. So here it is, The Centipede Song by Roald Dahl. I've eaten many strange and scrumptious dishes in my time, like jellied gnats and dandy prats and ew, it's cooked in slime. And mice with rice, they're really nice when roasted in their prime. But don't forget to sprinkle them with just a pinch of grime. I've eaten fresh mud burgers from the greatest cooks there are, and scrambled dregs, and stink bugs eggs, and hornets stewed in tar. And pails of snails, and lizards' tails, and beetles by the jar. A beetle is improved by just a splash of vinegar. I often eat boiled slobbages. They're grand when served beside minced doodle bugs and curried slugs. And have you ever tried mosquitoes' toes and womp fish roes, all delicately fried? <laughs> the only trouble is they disagree with my insides. I'm mad for crispy wasp stings on a piece of <laughs> buttered toast and pickled spines of porcupines and then a gorgeous roast of dragon's flesh well hung, not fresh it costs a pound or two <laughs> and comes to you in barrels if you order it by post. I crave the tasty tentacles of octopi for tea. I like hot dogs, I love hot frogs, and surely <laughs> you'll agree. A plate of soil with engine oil, a super recipe. I hardly need to mention that it's practically free. For dinner on my birthday, shall I tell you what I chose? Hot noodles made from poodles on a slice of garden hose. And a rather smelly jelly made of armadillo's toes. The jelly is delicious, but you have to hold your nose. Now comes, the centipede declared, the burden of my speech. Those foods are rare beyond compare. Some are right out of reach. But there's no doubt I'd go without a million plates of each. For one small mite, one tiny bite of this fantastic peach. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this poem by Roald Dahl as much as we enjoyed performing it. Reading books is great fun, like James and the Giant Peach. So keep on reading, enjoy your time at home, and we look forward to seeing you soon.